Hello and good afternoon. Welcome again to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about future continuous tense or future progressive tense. So first of all, we'll talk about the definition of future continuous tense or future progressive tense. Let's get ahead with the definition of future continuous tense or future. We you can call it future progressive tense as well. What is future continuous tense? Future continuous tense is used to show that action which will be in progress or will not be in progress in the future. Future continuous tense it talks about that action which will be in progress in the future or will not be in progress in the future. For example, I will be going to cinema if I am doing this action in the future so it will be in progress in the future. Let's see with the uses of future continuous tense. So first, it can be also used for future prediction. Future continuous tense, so it is also used to show prediction. If something is predicted in the future, so we can also use for that future continuous tense. It can be also used for future prediction. For example, look at this example. In 2030, people will be living in plastic houses. Now it's a kind of prediction when we are talking about prediction in the future so for that we will use a future continuous tense now we will talk about the structure of present continuous tense how we will make positive sentences negative and interrogative so for that we have three structures positive negative and interrogative let's get ahead with the first structure if you want to make positive sentences using future continuous tense so for that first of all we will put subject and with the subject we will put will plus be and then verb ing and then rest of the sentence first of all we will put they now they is sub now they is subject then will be so they will be okay here i'll put a they will and be so first of all i put here subject then will be with that we will put verb ing now playing it's in verb ing first of all put subject they then will be will be then verb ing playing and then rest of the sentence tennis tomorrow so they will be playing tennis tomorrow okay and tomorrow it's future time expression as well okay negative if you want to make negative sentences using future continuous tense so for that first of all we'll put subject then will not plus b and then verb by ng and then rest of the sentence so first of all let's see subject now he is a subject okay and then will not also he will not then be in verb by ng so he will not be playing a cricket tomorrow if i want to make interrogative sentences so for that i'll use this structure interrogative structure okay first of all i'll put will then after that i'll put subject then B and with B, I'll put verb ing and then rest of the sentence. Example, well, then subject, he is a subject, then B and then verb ing and then rest of the sentence. So, so the sentence will be like, will he be playing cricket tomorrow? It was all about future continuous tense. If you have any kind of question, you can ask 